Hello and welcome back to the Financial Freedom Show. In today's episode, we're going to discuss SPAXX and why I'm buying that and a little update with my portfolio. So if you haven't already, please be sure to like the video and subscribe in order to stay up to date with the latest in my portfolio updates. If you could comment down below what you think about SPAXX and what you're buying, uh, I'd greatly appreciate it because I love to see you guys' comments and what you guys are up to, what you're purchasing, just to stay in touch with everyone. So uh, if you could do that, that would greatly appreciate it. So without further delay, let's get into today's video. So uh, what is SPAXX or SPACs? SPACs is actually a government money market fund. So uh, what a government money market fund is, is they basically buy uh, US treasury bills and treasury coupons and they're going to use the uh, interest that they earn from those to return to the shareholder. So the actual target value of SPAXX is stuck at one dollar. That is the value per share and it is fixed so it stays at one dollar and you earn interest on top of that. So um, if you can see over here to the right the average annual returns of one year is 3.76 percent. That per return is only for one year. Uh, if you go further out in the time frame you'll see that 10 years out it's actually a much lower return. That's because interest rates back then were a lot lower. So as the Federal Reserve continues to raise the interest rate, it's gonna actually raise the return of this fund. So the more that they hike the interest rate, the more you're gonna get paid each month. Um, basically, this is on a yearly basis, so uh, it's earning about 4.96% as of uh, today. So that's the uh, return that you're gonna expect if it continues to remain at the same rate this year. Basically, this fund fluctuates every seven days based on what's going on with the market. If the Federal Reserve increases the interest rate, it's gonna go up. So this is very much a short-term focused asset. You're gonna to wanna to own this for only like a year or two while the interest rates are higher. Once the interest rates go back down, it's not really worth it to continue to own this fund, uh, which you can actually just use to buy back into the market once that happens, which is what my plan is. But basically, uh, you're getting a risk-free return of about 4.96% per year for doing nothing. So that's what I really like about this fund. If you look below, you'll see more information about the fund. It was first created in 1990. There is no minimum investment amount. If you take a look over to the right, you'll be able to see their holdings. Uh, they have 10% in US Treasury bills, 3% in US Treasury coupons, and 62% in US government repurchase agreements. 18.15% in agency floating rate securities and 7% in agency fixed rate securities. So basically this fund owns uh, US treasury bills and uh, just fluctuates based on the actual interest rate for how much they pay out each month. So this is a monthly paying asset. It's gonna pay you every single month in a distribution based on that changing yield. So it's not gonna be 4% every month. That's on a yearly basis. It's 4% for the whole year. Uh, so divide 4% by 12 and that's what you'll get that month. So um, that's pretty interesting. If you have a lot of money, you're gonna be able to uh, generate some pretty good returns with this fund for very little risk. So if you look below, you'll see the uh, actual fund overview. And here's the objective. It seeks as high a level of current income as is consistent with preservation of capital and liquidity. So they're gonna try and get as high a yield as possible without actually losing money with your actual um, investment, your original investment. The strategy is the advisor normally invests at least 99% of the fund's total assets in cash, US government securities and or repurchase agreements that are fully collateralized. So they're collateralized by cash or government securities. The certain issuers of U.S. government securities are sponsored or chartered by Congress, but their securities are neither issued nor guaranteed by the U.S. Treasury. Investing in compliance with industry standard regulatory requirements for money market funds for the quality, maturity, and liquidity diversification of these investments. The advisor stresses maintaining a stable $1 share price. So the fixed price per share is $1. The liquidity and also while generating income. So in addition, the advisor normally invests in at least 80% of the fund's assets into US government securities and repurchase agreements for those securities. Now you could actually lose money by investing in this fund. Although the fund seeks to preserve the value of your original investment at a dollar per share, 
it cannot guarantee that it will do so. Uh, an investment in this fund is not guaranteed or insured by the FDIC or any other government agency, so uh, be warned about that. Uh, the fund does not impose a fee upon the sale of your shares, nor will it temporarily suspend your ability to sell shares if the fund's assets fall below the uh, weekly limit of 30% of its total assets because of market conditions or other factors. The interest rates can increase and cause the price of a money market security to decrease. This decline in the credit quality of the issuer to provide the credit quality or support can cause a shortening structure for the security and actually cause the uh, value of the security to decrease. So those are kind of the risk warnings. Um, if something like that happened, uh, it could potentially go below a dollar per share, but uh, right now it's actually fixed at a dollar per share from what I've seen. So taking a look further, uh, you can see the compound effective yield is actually 5.09% as of this month. So that is amazing for such a low risk fund. Uh, basically your only real risk is if the government defaults on its debt, which uh, got actually pushed off for a couple of years. So uh, that's very good to know that that's actually not an issue, hopefully in the future. With this fund, that's the main risk that you're going to be facing. You're not going to face the fluctuations of the stock market. It's going to be fixed at a dollar per share. If we take a look at some of the expenses, uh, basically the only expense is 0.42%. Uh, and that's the expense ratio of this fund. So per $1,000, uh, you're going to spend about $4.20 per year. And that is taken automatically out of the interest that you generate. So um, that's automatically taken out of that 4% already. You're you're basically getting 4% when the actual interest rate was 5 point like three or something like that. Um, it's just automatically taking that out and making the interest rate for the year 4.9%. Uh, you can also see the history of the dividend. Uh, last month, they actually paid out a dividend of 0 0.004 cents per share, and that's based on the dollar share price. So basically you just multiply whatever money you had invested by that amount, and that's how much you got paid out uh, from that fund last month. If we scroll down, we can see that the daily market value of this fund actually does fluctuate by a very, very slight amount, uh, but it's basically negligible. It's only by 0 0.0001 cents uh, per share, and it just fluctuates based on the interest rate. So if the interest rate goes up, the fund's value is going to go down. If the interest rate goes down, the fund's value goes up. But if you could see the actual price history by month, it just rounds up to a dollar per share. Uh, it's actually fixed at a dollar per share. So that is the goal of this fund is to remain at a dollar per share. In fact, most of the accounts that are in Fidelity use this as their cash. So whenever you sell a security in Fidelity, you're actually getting SPAXX and they're gonna pay you out that 4.9% uh, interest rate based on how much you invested. So that's kind of a behind the scenes look at why I am buying SPAXX in my Fidelity account. Uh, this is going to allow me to get a risk-free return of about 5% close to that. Uh, hopefully it'll go above that once the Federal Reserve actually raises again. But I'm looking to continue to have this return uh, over the next year and a half while I save up for a house. Uh, that's going to allow me to get the upside of the market without worrying about the downside. I'm basically getting a 5% rate of return for doing nothing and I don't have to worry about the value going down. Um, so uh, even if the market goes up, I do have a lost opportunity cost. If the market went up, let's just say 20%, uh, that 15% would be my opportunity cost. But I'm okay with that since I'm just saving up for a house. I'm not actually looking to use that money to retire. Uh, if you're looking to start saving for retirement, I would say just dollar cost average into an index fund in the market. But if you're looking to save up some money in the short term, uh, SPAXX is probably one of the best investments you could make because it's just so easy to save up that money and continue to earn 5% for very little risk. So I um, hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was informative. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about SPAXX, if you're buying it or buying something similar. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.